Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in introduction. Uh, he is an icon for the entire Maven community. He has played his part for decades and decades uh, for the empowerment and bringing the Maven community together. Uh, he is an uh, ex-chairman for REAP, which is the Rights Exporters Association. Please put your hands together for none other than Mr. Haim Jaga. Mr. Shweb Ismail, Mr. Altaf Jangra, Dr. Salan Ashmani, our elder Mr. Peer Mohammed Dewan, Mr. Aftab Siddiqui MNA, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon. It is indeed a great pleasure to be here in Business Leadership Conference organized by the Global Youth Wing of World Memory Organization, Pakistan Chapter. I am thankful to the management of WMO for giving me the opportunity to express my feelings on the topic of Mayman Youth Empowerment. First of all, we all know that youth is the backbone of any nation. Youth can play an important role in the development of the society. Youths have the power to transform a country's future. They could be the engines of the development. On their could lead to social unrest. The voices of the youth were heard in many ways, ranging from mainstream social media websites to more innovative approaches. This is the important segment of the society and the youth can play a vital role in the development of the country. But this young and able workforce is not being given their chance to shine. As you all are aware that the Mayman communities are scattered throughout the world, including the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, South Africa, United Kingdom, USA, Canada. However, the major concentrations of Mayman communities are located in Pakistan and India. As per the statistics, Pakistan currently is the largest generation of the young people ever in the history recorded. 29% of the Pakistanis are youth between 15 and 29, an age which we define as the youth. Just now, Pir Mohammed Saab was asking me the uh, age limit and I told him 15 to 31, but it's uh, between 15 to 29 or 31. But uh, 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 we are not a youth Pir Mamasa anymore. As per the uh, uh, National Human Development Report by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, Pakistan is the country with the largest percentage of youth in the world. Secondly, India also have approximately 19% of their population consists of youth and expected to have approximately 34% in the coming few years. This statistics shows that we have a substantial population of Mayman youths which are living in Pakistan and India and the other parts of the world. Mayman youth is very much energetic and ready to do something for the development of the country. They are optimistic about their role in bringing peace and prosperity in the society. Mayman youth is now becoming a depressed segment of the society. There are degrees but no jobs. There are universities but no professional education. There are schools but different education system between elite and poor. There is a government but not a proper policy as to how that can solve these issues. I will like the attention of Daftab Siddiqui Saab because he is from the ruling party. <coughs> government should realize the situation and take quick measures to save the future of the nation. As PTI always banks on the youth of Pakistan, so this is the, this is the government which can do wonders for the youth. 
opportunity there is a lack of opportunities professional training institutes awareness for maiman youth in the country a lot of educated maiman youth is, in, is unemployed they are unable to participate in the country's development because there is no quality of education and textbooks policies and curriculum differ across the country there is no proper training institute in the country where a student can get professional training for their careers but the main challenge lies with the government and its institutional partners to design such programs and policies that may offer these willing youth an opportunity to work for the society and bring change <coughs> i welcome dr farooq sattar sir Maiman youth is facing number of issues and challenges at different levels. Our policy makers need to design long term plans to address the demographic implications. Maimans are known for their involvement in business and philanthropy. With Maimans having played a major role in the building of Pakistan's industry, it is a matter of pride that Maiman communities are actively working in various fields such as education. Health and other social and welfare activities in Pakistan and worldwide. We have many shining examples of Maiman personalities in our history. Now here we are understand that now Maiman youth empowerment is beneficial to our nation. Maiman youth empowerment aims to improve quality of life and it's achieved through participation in Maiman youth empowerment program. Alhamdulillah, we are the platform of Global Youth Wing in World Maiman Organization, as well as we have various Maiman organizations who can play their role due towards nation Maiman youth programs. As I briefly described above, we have a very good potential and capability in our Maiman community to step forward towards the various Maiman youth empowerment programs. to flourish our maiman youth here are some uh, suggestions which can uh, be beneficial for maiman youth we should encourage our maiman youth to use their patience for good we should guide them to believe that their voice matters without judging or criticizing their idea we should also guide them to understand that people will not always want to listen we should help them learn that something sometimes even the most fabulous ideas they may need a bit more logistic planning we should also help our maiman youth to develop good habits that they can sustain we should give our maiman youth a chance to learn from their failure and help them to learn to succeed we should plus play we should place successful youth leadership examples to our maiman youth and to learn from their ways of life and the wmo is a big example for this invite our youth to launch a project of idea and support their progress we can also follow other types of youth programs across the globe that empower maiman youth through many different tactics and program these are also empowerment movements that use that use the social action model aiming for the disadvantaged people to become oh, organized and educated so that they may create change youth empowerment has also been used as a framework to prevent and reduce youth violence the need to empower maiman youth for a better tomorrow is connected both to the financial elevation as well as the increment of the standard of living awareness is a key factor for this empowerment with guidance towards developing a whole some outlook of life i would also like to insist why maiman youth empowerment program is essential for us powered poverty eradication maiman youth program can help reduce the rate of poverty to a significant significant level 
skill development when a maimon youth is equipped with essential skills he can utilize them to feed assist others and even invest for future use aiding the nation economically this will in turn contribute to the increase in employment and add to the gdp of the nation good education standard maimon youth empowerment can also help our maimon youth to understand the importance of education that leads to social improvement of the country good governance with the inclusion of maimon youth empowerment program our maimon youth can reject the status quo and again and pave a path for a better future crime reduction maimon youth program ensures that maimon youth has the necessary skill to sustain a livelihood preventing him to adapt the path of crime presenting presently a lot has been spent in the name of like fighting crime without understanding that crime affects the youth in an level there are serious social and economic consequences associated with the with not addressing the youth who is at the risk of negative circumstances maimon youth empowerment program enables our maimon young mind to differentiate the wrong from the right denouncing the path of injustice for a respectable living uh ek maimon saab uh, informed you about the international maimon leadership conference let me uh, inform you that uh, first international maimon leadership conference is being held in karachi uh, on 17th 18th and 19th of january 2020 with five active active sessions 32 speakers from the maimon world are coming to address the august gathering for 3 days uh, including the wmo president uh, mr soli noor mr harun kareem sir iqbal sakrani mr shweb ismail dr arslan ashmani these are the five who are uh, uh, from the wmo will be speaking in the uh, conference of 3 days in five sessions his excellency president of pakistan and governor saab are all also attending our conference and uh, in the end i uh, i want to tell the youth uh, i just a good example uh, as i am uh, also involved in rice export trade mr harun mr elias of harun brothers is our very old member and uh, uh, he is a traditional rice uh, dealer मैं ये बता रहा था मैं ए के मेहमद साहब ने बोला है कि आप थोड़ा सा उर्दू में बोलें तो मैं ये बताना चाह रहा था कि हमारे एक मेंबर हैं राइस एक्सपोर्टर एसोसिएशन के हारून भाई इलियास ब्रदर्स इलियास भाई हारून ब्रदर्स वाले उनका एक बेटा काम करता था उनके साथ और उसने फिर अपने बाप से कहा कि मैं राइस का बिजनेस नहीं करूँगा और आपने उसकी सक्सेस देखी ही वॉज ए यूथ ये स्टिल ए यूथ और उसने मुदसर शेखा ने को फाउंडर ऑफ करीम और आपने देखा उसको बिलियन डॉलर कंपनी बनाया और एक नया कॉन्सेप्ट लाया और उसको कहाँ से कहाँ पहुँचा दिया तो मैं यूथ को बोलता हूँ कि घबराए नहीं मार्च फॉरवर्ड डोंट लिसन टू क्रिस्टिसम और आप सुने नहीं कोई भी तनकीद करता रहेगा कोई बात नहीं आप अपने रास्ते पर चलते रहें और इन शाला के ऊपर भरोसा रखें अल्लाह तला आपको कामयाबी देगा और मैं ये दोबारा मैं जो आपको कॉन्फ्रेंस का एक और बता दूँ कि जो तीन रोज़ा कॉन्फ्रेंस है जनवरी में उसमें आप लोग शिरकत करें और असला आशमानी हमारा कोऑर्डिनेटर भी है आप उससे कांटेक्ट करें और आप आए स्पेशली द गर्ल्स एंड द लेडीज आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट देम और अगर स्टिल आयशा अगर यहाँ बैठी है तो आयशा और सानिया मस्कतिया और ऐसे लेडीज स्पीकर्स भी हमें चाहिए कुछ आ, कुछ तो कराची से हैं एक दो और साउथ अफ्रीका से वजी लबाई आई हुई है वो भी हमारे स्पीकर हैं एक इसमाइल साहब भी हमारे स्पीकर हैं दूसरे हैं तो इसका ये डब्ल्यू एम ओ के ताउन से हम उस कॉन्फ्रेंस को भी कामयाब बनाएंगे और क्योंकि ये आज के टाइटल्स और उसका भी थीम लीडरशिप पे ही है तो इन शाह तला हम आगे बढ़ेंगे करेंगे और ये मैं दोबारा एट द एंड मैनेजमेंट को जो अरसलान ने तारुफ कराया तमाम इनकी टीम को मुबारकबाद देता हूँ फॉर अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल कॉन्फ्रेंस और थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर इन्वाइटिंग थैंक यू पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद